side pink, then the other blue. Shade them together. Spray paint a yellow circle on the pink side. Then you're going to grab your white and do the same. Now add some face features on the moon, then do the same with the sun. Now add some clouds and some stars. Now grab a skinny long brush and outline. Add some more faces to some of the clouds. Grab your postcode markers and make some little designs or add some dots to flow with the stars. Now flip that wrist for the lashes. All done. So I was scrolling through my For You page yesterday and I came across this guy, Sam the Sweaty Boy, who said that these super simple looking paintings were selling for hundreds of dollars, so he made his own and started the bidding at 250 Then today he said the highest bid was $13,000. Of course I thought he was lying, so I checked eBay. Turns out he was. The highest bid was $18,000. Needless to say, that was enough proof for me to get in my car and go to Michael's. I got the supplies, brought them back to my house, and started painting the canvas black and making a rig to hold the paint. 
I decided to do one of those pendulum paintings you see on the For You page all the time, and while it was swinging back and forth, I went on eBay and found something that looked like it belonged in Squidward's house selling for $1,800, and another one selling for $400. Bucks. Now, it almost sounds too good to be true, but I finished the painting anyways and posted it on eBay with a starting bid of $251. Wish me luck. Quarantines make me be a bit more creative. So I got these two picture frames, some spray paint, and lightly coated. Maybe one or two layers, but just enough so the light couldn't shine through. Waited for them to dry, and then I got a pen, and I went to work. Did a little bit of scratching here, some scratching over there, a little bit more scratching over there, and then boom, it's done. Doesn't look like much until you let the light shine through. Imagine putting this up next to your window, watching the sunset shine through. I don't know, pretty dope. I'm waxing the areas I wish to keep white and I'm applying lemon dye to the cloth. Now I'm waxing the areas I wish to keep lemon and orange dye is put onto the fabric. This is going to be my background colour and I'm waxing it. Next a red is applied to Melanie, the areas I wish to be this colour are waxed, black is applied, Melanie finished. Let's do this. Three color challenge, go. Cry as you put all your nice organized colors in a bag. Tater tot can't even contain all of my colors. Use whatever medium you work with, and if you're a digital artist, use a color generator website. Now without peeking, and I promise I'm not peeking, choose your first color. Okay, and then color number two. And the third color. I hope you like commitment, because you're stuck with these bad boys. Draw something, either before or after you pick your colors. You can only use what you pulled to color your
your drawing, so good luck. Now go ahead and use this audio so I can see what you came up with. it as closely to the photo as possible. Let's see how you do. This is the endless art challenge. Get a big piece of paper and make a picture pretty small and then add to that picture every day or every few days because you know life until the whole paper is filled. 